Hi, it's Tristan back with another video. In this video, we're taking a look at these shoes that are on my feet. Um, these are the Snuff Suede Chuckas by Alan Edmonds, and the model is AMOK, A-M-O-K. They're no longer made, actually, or maybe they're just seasonal, but they're no longer on Alan Edmonds' website. But I picked these up for a very good price, under $200, uh, via the link in my description, so I'll be sure to post that link uh, to where I got them. And I thought that was a pretty good deal for this price. Given that the equivalent Alden model uh, are $480, and yes, the Aldens are certainly better than these in terms of the build quality and the comfort, but for the price I paid for these, you know, less than half of what the Alden ones cost, I thought these were you know a pretty good deal. So as you can see, it's got some contrast stitching on them right there, which I like, as well as the laces provide uh, you know sort of a contrast color. Uh, it's got the Goodyear welt, so they can be resold. As you can see, it goes all the way around the uh, the shoe, and uh, it's got a waxed leather sole or an oiled leather sole. And again, you know, for the price of under two hundred dollars that I paid for these, I think they were worth it. I was going to buy the Alden ones, and I actually went even to try them on, and I really liked them. But you know, these are almost as good as the Aldens, not quite, of course, but you know, they're a much less price. So it was hard for me to justify the Aldens at $480 when these were under $200. Um, certainly the Aldens have a nicer stitching pattern. I like the way the stitching pattern, I'm talking about this pattern right here. On the Aldens, they just look better. It's just a lot nicer and sleeker. Um, and yes, the Aldens are certainly a better quality suede and, you know, better made and all that. But, you know, these are, I would say maybe 70% there, 75% there at less than, you know, half the cost. So, you know, I just couldn't <laughs> justify going with those anyway. And they come in a couple different colors. They come in a uh, dark chocolate brown as well as a tan, which is more of a sand color. And again, this is the snuff suede color. And then it also comes in a box and right here. This is the box that it came in. With, with two, you know, shoe flannel shoe bags as well from Allen Edmonds. I recently saw a paparazzi picture of David Beckham wearing the Alden versions of these, so I'll try to post a link to that in my description field as well. Uh, I will post a link to the uh, blog, you know, where I saw the pictures, and you can kind of check them out. So they're pretty cool. Um, you know, they're not bad looking shoes in my opinion. They're very comfortable. They feel almost like slippers. And uh, I think they're also pretty stylish, um, and especially in this color. This is certainly my favorite color for the suede uh, chuckas. You've probably seen my prior video on another pair of suede chuckas that I did on the Clark's Desert Boots. Those are in more of a sand color, which is sort of a lighter kind of khaki color, whereas these are, you know, a darker color. Um, these fit true to size, so you know I measure eight and a half D on the Brannock, and I bought eight and a half D on these. And they seem to fit just about right. And let me try to stand up so you can kind of get an overhead view of them too. But yeah, this is sort of the overhead view of them. And um, like I said, they're very comfortable. They're unlined. So it's just, you know, just the suede inside. They don't have any kind of leather lining or anything like that. And they feel almost like slippers. And, but yet they still do have some support because, you know, the, the leather sole and stuff on the bottom. I also picked up some of this stuff, some Allen Edmonds spray waterproofer. I'm going to spray these before I wear them outside, and that will kind of enable me to even wear them in the rain and stuff, and the water should just uh, bead right off of them and stuff. So, so I did want to just show this video um, of me wearing these, and again, this has been my look of the Allen Edmonds Amok suede chuckas in a snuff suede color. If you can get these for a good price like I did, um, you know, I think these are a pretty good buy. And maybe they're going to be going away and Allen Edmonds won't be making them anymore. I don't know because they're no longer on the Allen Edmonds site. So I'm not sure what the deal is with that. I do have a general comment on Allen Edmonds as a company in general. You know, they build themselves as being the great American shoe company. However, many people don't know this, but they also actually make a lot of their shoes in the Dominican Republic. Even the ones that say made in the USA. You might ask how they can get away with that. Well, they don't actually... Uh, finish all the steps of the shoes in the Dominican Republic. They actually have um, 
they actually ship them back to the US and then do the final steps in the US. That's how they're able to say made in the USA. And they actually have a dual factory in the Dominican Republic as they do in the United States. And what they do is uh, as the workload in the US gets high or whatever, gets too high, then they shift some of that workload over to the Dominican Republic and vice versa. So it all depends on demand. Uh, so even on their shoes that say made in the USA, um, you know, it could have been mostly made in the Dominican Republic and then just sent to the US for final assembly. That's one sort of thing that I think Alan Edmonds is a bit disingenuous on, because on their website they seem to try to hide that. They don't want you to know, although it is a fact and I've got you know, links and articles and stuff um, where the CEO has stated so, that they actually you know, do a lot of manufacturing in the Dominican Republic. Um, so it's not, Alan Edmonds shoes aren't all just made in the USA. Um, a lot of the process and you know, the sewing and stuff like that is done in the Dominican Republic and then they send it to the US for, for final um, lasting and final assembly. So I don't know, that's one little nitpick I have with Alan Edmonds. Although, you know, as you see, I, it didn't stop me from purchasing these Allen Edmonds. Um, so it's just a minor quibble, and I don't really have a problem with where they're made or whatever. I just wish they would be a little bit more upfront about that um, and letting, you know, customers know, rather than sort of misleading customers into thinking that they're completely made in the USA. So anyway, those are just some miscellaneous comments I had on that topic. So, so this has been my look at the Allen Edmonds Snuff Suede AMOC Chucker shoes. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in my next video.